Hi there, YouTube. I'm very happy to be part of your anniversary celebration. It's really hard to believe it's been five years since the first video went live. Who knew a guy at the zoo could start an online revolution? YouTube is kind of like New York City. Millions and millions of people from all walks of life coexisting in one small space. When you turn the corner, you never know who or what you'll see. The videos I call water cooler fodder tend to get the most attention. The dancing babies and potty trained cats, the news bloopers or Justin Bieber clips. But YouTube is actually a whole lot more than that. Intentionally or unintentionally, it's become a window on worlds many of us wouldn't see otherwise. Raising awareness of human rights abuses and providing firsthand accounts of conflicts and catastrophes moments after they strike. I picked five videos that demonstrate for me the power of the medium and how a simple video upload can be a catalyst for change. First, there's the famous Makaka moment. This fella here over here with the, the yellow shirt, Makaka, or whatever his name is. Virginia Senator George Allen made an offhand remark on the campaign trail, and before the age of YouTube, it might have been just a local news spot at most, but it went viral online and badly hurt his chances for re-election. The moment put politicians from both sides of the aisle on notice. In the age of the Internet, there's always a microphone nearby. Next, I picked protests in Burma. In a nation where an oppressive military regime keeps a chokehold on free speech, images began emerging online in 2007, and the voices of thousands were heard. I remember one picture of a sea of red robes as Buddhist monks peacefully marched through the streets shortly before the military opened fire. The brave men and women who documented what they saw and posted it online helped Americans understand the situation in Burma. I also think videos from the Sichuan earthquake of 2008 are remarkable. It was one of the deadliest quakes in history, and it happened in a country where the government imposes strict censorship rules on the media, and particularly the Internet. The citizen journalists who captured those graphic images told the world how bad the situation really was and gave us first-hand accounts of that terrifying day. The Battle of Kruger is one of the best nature documentaries I've ever seen, and it's just an eight-minute amateur video. It proves how powerful web videos can be, and it's also a little morality play in and of itself. The lesson, don't mess with Cape Buffalo. And finally, this year, the prestigious George Polk Award for videography went to an anonymous citizen journalist who posted a video on YouTube during the Iran election protests. The cell phone images depicted the death of a young woman named Netta Aga Sultan. As the Polk curator said, the video is iconic and a symbol of the bravery of the Iranian people willing to stand up for what is right. So those are my picks. I'm sure you have many of your own. Susan Sontag once wrote, the camera makes everyone a tourist in other people's reality. I commend all the citizen journalists who are showing us their realities and proving that even Burma, China, or Africa can be just a click away.